We're here to replace a talon that broke off the spike. And what we had to do, we had to pull the pin out of this, tap it out with the, with the uh, actually what we used was a drill bit. And there's also was a, a, a pipe a spike in there as well, as well. And we had to pop that out with the drill bit. Um, the, this is a 2011 model. The newer models have an Allen wrench that goes in there that makes it a little bit easier. We could not get this remainder of the spike out. So what we did is we took, we took a clamp and we clamped it and we tapped the clamp until we got it loose enough to pull all the way out. This is what it looks like coming out. There's a, also a washer on that. I spoke to Talon and they wind up sending me a new uh, replacement spike. The company only does this. It sends it to recommend authorized dealers to do the work and you'd have to pay to have this done, though the parts are free. Um, since my, my agent does not do the work without you purchasing it from them, we were able to start doing this process myself. I have a friend of mine with me, so it makes two people. Since my unit's an older unit, we're just gonna install it as that procedure. The next step is to slide the, we, we slid the O-ring right on from the top down, but the other piece will be put on afterwards from the bottom up, keeping the lip on that in the downward direction. As can be seen, it's like that. Slide, no, slide that piece in. Okay. Once you have that in place, what we're going to do is we're going to put the spike in this position to lock it down in place. Okay, we slid this shaft all the way in as far as it can go. It has a stop. We put the pin that we had originally, we're gonna use that pin as opposed to the new one that has the Allen head on it. Um, Cause it'd have to be threaded and this doesn't have a thread on it. So we're gonna go ahead and tap this in. And at that point, we'll put the rest of the unit, the rest of the parts on and slide it all together and lock it back in. Okay, we drove the pin in. So this, now the spike is locked in to the spot because that pin is holding that first loop. At this point, we're gonna slide on the bottom retainer with the lip facing towards away from the unit. We're gonna slide that all the way up and that'll be pushing in the O-ring as well. We're gonna slide it into the, into the opening and try to push it all the way in. Once we get it into the position where this lip is far enough in that this pin can be placed in, to lock it in place. We had trouble with this piece going in all the way in and mounting flush. So what we had to do is move the motor up and down. We took everything out and we moved the pin. As you can see, if you can, the pin is now in the middle to lock it in, but it gives us the room to put this end piece in all the way. Before it would only go this far and we were banging it and we thought that might be wrong. With that with that pin reset, and we can now slide it up all the way, the retaining lock, and slide it up to where it's flush. And once it's flush, we can insert another pin right in there and lock it in place. As I said, we did reinstall it. If you can see, it's in the middle, as opposed to before it was on the very end, which would not let this piece go in all the way. We were able to stand the unit up we have to adjust these metal bars that go in here loose enough that they fit inside the loop inside the teeth of this or not teeth rather just slide in and then we're able to tighten them down um, they do have a stop on um, this one has a stop we put it in where we originally did it this stopped it at the depth of the bottom of my boat as you can see it's it's below the boat it's above the boat rather so that when the anchor goes out it's below the level job's not hard just a little time and having someone work with you helps out a lot. Just so you know, uh, Talon sent me the spike and the set of instructions, as you can see here, spike replacement kit. And it takes the newer spikes 
as well as the older spike. As I said, my unit is a 2011. It's one of the first ones out. So we have a little bit of difference and all that difference is, is the, um, the pins that hold everything together. That's the difference. And the newer ones have a clean out, which would require some rivets, which are also included with the kit. But again, this is the, this is the newer one. You could print these instructions out. And here is the replacement kit for the old ones. And as I go down slowly, you can read the instructions and familiarize yourself before you even take anything apart and learn how it works. The only hiccups we had was that the, the middle pin, the first retaining pin, had to be up a little bit higher so that the bottom spike isolator, which is this part, can be slide all the way up into it. With, we had the, the um, washer above that as well. But as you can take notice, the pin is in the middle position on ours as opposed to the bottom position, which it originally when it was all the way extended. It's not too hard. I'll give you a recommendation on another website, which goes into other details of other parts of replacement, uh, which was excellent. Hopefully uh, this helps everybody.